Europeans didn't want to work, and so then that resulted in them bringing people from Africa because the African people were able to handle the environment and work hard, and then African people were brought from by the Europeans to working crop fields, and it was ended when Brazil prevented the slave boats to go by. Africans were unwillingly taken from Africa, and the Americans and Europeans brought slaves from Africa to their continents to do labor for them. Okay, Europe wanted more colonies for more power, and they want to get resources from the African colonies, which resulted in the scramble for Africa. To prevent war, Europe had the Berlin Conference. And the Berlin Conference was, it had some of its major, major articles were principle of notification, notifying other powers of territorial annexation, principle of effective occupation and validate the annexations, freedom of trade in the Congo and Basin, freedom of navigation in, in Niger and Congo rivers, freedom to trade to all nations, and suppression of the slave trade by land and sea. Colonizing Africa, Europe tried to make Africa more civilized. So they also took away their rights by making them becoming citizens. They were also they also drew borders without the consent of the Africans, putting enemies in the same territories and keeping allies apart. They used indirect control, meaning that they that they used the people who were in power already and just controlled those people. The Europeans were able to colonize Africa because they had superior technology, namely guns. The Africans fought with the Allies in World War II against the imperialistic Germany and Italy. So it felt wrong to the Allies to turn them into colonies again because that's what the same thing they were fighting against. Churchill signed the Atlantic Charter to help to get Americans to send over resources to help to help them in World War II before America got involved. The Atlantic Charter put pressure on England so that they could let their colonies go. So colonization is that many African nations were turned to capitalists because of Western influences, which since the decolonization took place around the same time as the Cold War. Colonial borders also became country borders, which grouped which grouped enemies in the same country. They also took the Europeans took resources from Africa instead of building schools, so Africa didn't have didn't have a good chance to educate their people. The leaders were so popular because they're seen as puppets, and when they throw new leaders, they're inexperienced. So Africa had a hard time competing with the world politically. However, not all of the effects are bad. They also gain a higher GDP, lower infant mortality rate, and a higher life expectancy. Also, because of the Atlantic slave trade, many American, many Africans ended up in America.